Welcome to the Armani Talks podcast. I'm your host, Armani Talks. In this podcast, I'm helping you level up your five soft skills, public speaking, storytelling, social dynamics, emotional intelligence, and creativity. Five soft skills for you to change your life forever and skyrocket your confidence along the way. In today's episode, we're entering the world of social skills, and we're going to be talking about how to be less soft-spoken and how to speak up a little bit more. Notice what I said. Speak up just a little bit more. Because if you're someone who's shy or someone that doesn't like to speak too much, whenever someone tells you, yo, you should speak up a little bit more, you're thinking that they're telling you to speak up a lot. Suddenly, you go from someone who's normally very shy to someone who is forcing it and saying a little too much. At this stage, you feel awkward because it feels like you're being someone who you are not. That's why I said you just got to speak up a little bit more. The question is, what does little bit more mean? Does it mean 5% more? 10% more? 25% more? Because this number is subjective. So no, I cannot give you an exact range on what to speak on, but I can give you a general feeling. Do you recall the last time that you spoke? If you don't, then you need to speak up a little bit more. But here's the thing. I'm going to break my own rule today and give you somewhat of a range that you can follow in order to be considered someone who is not shy. Speak for at least 30% of the conversation. You don't need to exactly measure all the words that you said versus how much the other person said to see whether or not you hit the 30% mark. This is more so a general feel. Whenever you're driving, for example, you don't know exactly all the time how fast you are driving. But whenever you're driving a little too fast or a little too slow, your body alerts you. And once it alerts you, that's when you look at the speedometer to see if you're following the speed limit or you're going above or below. Likewise, with conversation skills, when you set the 30% mark as the intention, after that, your body is going to be guiding you. It's going to say, listen, fam, you're right on target. Keep on doing what you're doing. Or fam, you got to speak up a little bit more because I can't recall the last time you said something. Or fam, shut up already. You're talking way too much. Your body is going to guide you on this one. And the more that it guides you, over time, you start to build this understanding of how to listen to the body. A big part of social skills and emotional intelligence go hand in hand. And your emotions are not only stored in your body. That's your feelings. Your emotions are physical and intangible because emotions equal feelings plus perception. Perception is intangible. When you get all these variables working together, that's when you start to improve social skills. But for the basic part of it all, you just got to speak up a little bit more. Not too much, just a little bit more for you to remember yourself and leave an imprint in the conversation. The more that you speak, the better that you speak. So unless you speak, you will not get better. Asking questions has its role in social skills, but eventually you need to contribute. Without that, your presence will not be felt. So speak up a little bit more and allow your charisma to radiate. If you want more practical insights like this into communication skills and building social skills, be sure to check out the Charisma King ebook. In this ebook, you're going to learn much more about managing social anxiety, how to create small talk, how to become a better listener, and much more. Check out the book in the link in the description box or go on ArmaniTalks.com and grab your copy today. Thank you very much for joining the Armani Talks podcast, and I'll catch you on the next episode.